pleasure to welcome you to our annual Christmas concert. Always the highlight of the season here at First Presbyterian Church. We're happy that you're here to join in with this wonderful evening. Uh, always gets you in the spirit as a Christmas, believe it or not, is only just a couple of days away. I'll mention a couple of things. One is if you're looking for a place to worship over the holiday season, this is the place for you tomorrow at 10. We will be worshiping, and it's the fourth Sunday of Advent. And then on Tuesday, we have a 3 o'clock communion service in the chapel, a 5 o'clock family candlelight service here in the sanctuary, and a 7 o'clock candlelight service led by our wonderful chancel choir, who we will hear tonight. Also, please remember cell phone. Uh, if you can silence those for the performance, that would be fabulous. And now it's my real pleasure to introduce to you our Minister of Music, Kyle Brown. It's a pleasure to be able to welcome you to this first in our series of concerts, our holiday Christmas concert. And it's a thrill for me, this is my second year here at First Presbyterian Church, working with these amazing musicians. The soloists and choir that you hear this evening are the musicians you would hear on a Sunday morning. So please come back and join us. And it's a privilege to be able to welcome the Lynn Conservatory Chamber Orchestra to join with us in the accompaniment of this great first work, uh, The Messiah, part one by George Frederick Handel. In Handel's lifetime, the first performance was in 1742, and the concept behind this piece was human communication of scripture to a group of people that uh, didn't have access to a Bible or printed literature. And so this was a, a, a wonderful way of engaging in the community with the musicians. And the music parts are very flexible. Uh, sometimes he had hundreds of musicians to perform the Messiah, uh, the 33 times that he did perform it in his lifetime. And sometimes he had a smaller ensemble, like we have tonight. All are very effective. And uh, so I hope you enjoy as we perform part one of Handel's Messiah.
so we are moving into <clears throat> can you hear me no we are moving into that lighter portion of the concert uh, this next piece oh holy night will feature three uh, of the the men uh, from the choir the two baritones and a tenor uh, accompanied by the orchestra and the piano <laughs>
Now it's your turn to join with us. I invite everyone to sing in the next couple of carols. The words are printed in your program, and so I hope you will sing out heartily. Thank you.
again, please join us in joy to the world.
If you could now it's working. If you could take a seat for one moment, please. Before we send you off into the night with warmth in our hearts and the end of Christmas, uh, one of the choir members said, wouldn't it be nice to hear the organ? church is quite fortunate to have one of the best organs in all of southern Florida, and in some ways, Eastern Seaboard. And some of you we've been exposed to, and we're in the process of trying to raise funds to uh, complete the facade covering of this organ. And uh, so if there are any angels out there that would like to see a different look, come and talk to me. To close the program, on behalf of all the musicians here, I'm going to do a small improvisation on a tune we've already sung, Joy to the World. Have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas on behalf of the Pink Church and the Chancel Choir of the Pink Church and the Lynn Conservatory Chamber Orchestra. Good night.